Blessed love family. I pray that all is well. We glorify the life giver and the keeper of life, Emperor Haile Selassie the first. I welcome you into the tiger's nest. Anywhere we are, it's the tiger's nest. Of course, the honorable priest Isaac here with you. And I'm asking a very pertinent question. As Rastafari, should Haile Selassie the first be worshipped? Now, of course, I know many people have their different outlooks on this question, but we're going to go into it right now. But before we go thus far, let me just remind you to make sure you get your free sample family of the international homeschool classes, whether it is the African heritage and astronomy or whether it be the biology edition, and of course, in the future, much more courses to come. All you got to do is contact us, Priest Isaac Institute at gmail.com and ask for a free sample. So at least you can see for yourself without paying anything what it is you and your children will receive when you become a part of the international home school classes. Very good. Now, as it relates to the worship of Emperor Haile Selassie I. Now, before I go into what worship is, the reason why I said that you will have different outlooks because some people will say, hey, worship him, but he's not God. Okay, that's just one outlook. But I'm more looking at those who even think that he is God quote unquote. I'm looking at those who consider his divinity because there are those amongst even Rastafari I'm talking about now that see Haile Selassie as the return Messiah. They see Haile Selassie as the Christ. They would even tell you they see Haile Selassie as the most high. But the concept of worship now should not be given to any flesh. The concept of worship now should not be given to a human being. It should be given to the divine essence, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now, this is not necessarily my outlook. You know, I'm just kind of showing you the different outlooks that you could come across. Now, what I want to do is to actually look, first of all, into the definition of worship. Now, according to the definition, worship is the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration of a deity. It specifies here a deity. Okay, it goes on to say to show reverence and adoration to a deity, okay? So when you hear of deity, you're thinking of some being that is considered divine. Whether it's mythological, because many deities are mythological, or whether you are an individual that considers a human being a deity. Now, this is very serious, because who is it that specifically certifies who or what is a deity? It's the person. You're the one that thinks that Vishnu is a deity. You're the one that will say, well, you know, Fahad Muhammad is um, God Almighty in flesh. You're the one that will say, well, you know, the Sadata uh, Buddha is the, the this um, um, uh, reincarnation of, of Vishnu or Shiva, whatever the case is. You are the one that decides what you consider to be a deity. Now, a feeling or expression of reverence and adoration. Family, to me, that is something that you could give to more than just a deity. To me, you could give that, no offense, eh? Oh my, I don't want nobody to get offended, but that sounds like you could even give that to a pet. A feeling of adoration, adore, and even reverence. You understand. I know some people were offended when I said that a while ago. Listen, man, I bet they didn't have to be dog or cat in them. You could have a reverence even for a leopard or a certain adoration for its beauty. So what does worship really mean? Because when I hear the word worship, the point I'm making, I don't get caught up on the animal thing. The point I'm making, when I hear the word 
worship. It, it, it seems to me a little deeper than just reverence and adoration. That's the point I'm making, Rastafari. You understand? So in other words, when you, when you hear worship, what about pray too? Should, should Rastafari, as people, pray to Haile Selassie I? Then again, the answer will be, but no, why should you pray to him? He is not God. Okay, fair enough. Now, what I'm saying now, if, if you consider him as God, as a Rastafari, should you pray to him? This is serious because when we're talking about worship again, the definition we just got for worship doesn't necessarily point out that you are praying to this deity that you worship. Now, prayer to me is a level of communication where the individual that is praying, as they call it, is accepting that they're speaking to the higher force, the higher being that can answer their prayer, that can attend unto their wishes. So some people that pray, they don't always pray to the Almighty. Some people pray to the middleman. Some people pray to angels. Some people pray to ancestors with the hope that the ancestors could come and even attend even unto their prayer. This is very important. So again, as it relates to Haile Selassie, worship, prayer, should he be worshipped? And should you pray to him? Now, for those that would say, no, 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 you shouldn't worship him. I would ask the question, why? What, what made you come to that conclusion that, you know, Haile Selassie is not worthy to be worshipped? And worthy of praise, because praise is slightly different now. Because you could praise your children for the good works that they did. Oh, you got all right. You praise them. Oh, good shot. You praise a person. Wow, you clean the car yourself and you give them praises. That's not worship. But although it, praise and worship is slightly different, we tend to put them together. All praise and honor and worship to him. This is the praise and worship hour. You know, they go together. So they, they, are, they are fruits. But one is an apple and one is an orange and one is a pear. But they belong in the same category. That's the point. So I'm saying now, why is Haile Selassie not worthy to be worshipped? Just explain to me, especially those who consider him as God and the Most High. Well, let me explain. You see, brother, it's not that he's not the Most High. Mm -hmm. It's not that he's not God in flesh. Uh -huh. But you see, you, you, you're not supposed to worship no human being. Ah, I get your point now. Why not? No, no, no. Because, because it's the spirit that you worship. Aha. The spirit of God. It's the spirit of God that dwells in Haile Selassie. Okay, hold on. Let, let me get this back. So I just want to be clear. Should you worship the spirit of God? The spirit of the Most High? the spirit of the almighty. Should you worship the spirit? Of course. All right. So what you're trying to tell me, when the spirit now pick a human being and come inside of the human being, you don't worship the spirit anymore? Yes, you worship the spirit, but not the human being. So how do you separate the spirit from the human being when the spirit choose that human being to walk through now listen eh? it's not a case as if the spirit just came and and uh um, um what you would say uh, uh possessed someone you know this individual was born with that spirit the spirit chose the individual from conception and the spirit of the most high says that i'm gonna sit in this human being from the time he born until the time that nobody know where he disappeared to. So what you're trying to tell me, during that time that we know Haile Selassie the first in our presence historically, and you know that he is moving off of the spirit of God. Listen, eh? listen, it's not him, Haile Selassie, and his own spirit, and he is encouraged by the spirit of God. That's not the point. 
The point is that the spirit of God chose a flesh, a lineage, a DNA, a, a, gene, a genealogical pool and said, I am going to be born in that human being at that time. So that human being is not just carrying the spirit of God. That human being is God. And you see, this is what the Satanism does to us. The same thing King Emmanuel tell us. He who say that Jesus is come not in flesh is the Antichrist. And he who say Jesus come in flesh is a man of God. And is as simple as what we're talking about here. Because the spirit that I have here, that's why I like to say, you know, I ain't got no spirit. I don't got no soul. I am a soul. That's the real me. I am a soul. I have a body that I use. But still the body or the goody is still me. All of this is me. All of this is me. You understand? So the spirit that Haile Selassie has, he is both the spirit and the physical. And the spirit, which is the spirit of the Most High, decided to pick a human being to walk in. So if the spirit of the Almighty put on a flesh, and that flesh is also the Almighty as we think the person is the person, well, if the spirit is worthy of praise, then the flesh that the spirit has took up is worthy of praise. If the spirit is worthy to be worshipped, then the, the, the flesh or the human being that this spirit that you yourself recognize is worthy to be worshipped as well. If you pray to the spirit, If you pray to the spirit, the spirit, you say no, that Haile Selassie is the most high. So how you can't pray to the most high? Well, no, you don't pray, pray to the flesh. That sounds like a Roman Catholic theology there. When we done beat them off in 451 AD at the Council of Chaldean because they want to separate what? The spirit from the flesh. Come on, let's keep this alive. That is what the emperor was crowned defender of the faith for in 1965 in January. For what? For defending that the spirit and the flesh monophysite go together. So don't try to separate the spirit from the flesh and tell me, yeah, man, we don't worship the spirit, but we're not worshiping the flesh. No. No, no, no. So when the spirit take on the flesh, how are you going to separate the flesh from the spirit when they're one? Well, you know, I don't think God dwells in one thing, you know. God really dwells in all things. Okay. That's a good one, too. So should you worship God? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, all right, good. So, so identify the the item or the energy pool that you worship when you're worshiping worshiping God or oh, the universe ah okay why because God is in all things he's in me he's in you he's in the trees he, okay hold on hold on and you worship God yes because and God is in all things yes okay. so is God in this little leaf over here yes do you worship the leaf well, no, not exactly worship the leaf. Well, I could, well, maybe yes. Maybe I should say yes, because it's the totality of God. So yes, we do. We honor it and we adore it. As you said in that definition there, we honor it and we reverence the leaf. Yes, yes, you're right. You know, you're right. We we do worship the leaf. Now I come to think of it. And, and the plants and the flowers. Yes, yes, because it's all a part of creation. Oh, so you worship the leaf. Yes. You see something wrong if I worship Haile Selassie? Uh, well, you know, Selassie is a man, you know, he's a human. But you worship the leaf. Well, no, hold on, hold on. It's not that I really worship the leaf, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, reality, I know I'm in, you know, with myself, but I, I mean, that's how it goes. Eh? I, I'm sometimes I'm feeding off of conversations I would have had with people already. Eh? So I don't think it's just an acting thing. I would be feeding on something that's in my memory bank. The point is, I understand the leaf story, you know. I, I get it. 
I get it, because God is in all things. I totally get that. I agree with that, that the Most High is in everything. The Most High is in the leaf. The Most High is in me. The Most High is in you. But the, but the worshiping of the Most High now, if we are going to say, yes, we, we worship all things living in the universe and we are one with it, I can rock with that. I could rock with that. But you got to narrow it down now because you ain't worshiping the leaf. You worship it in all. But in the same way that the all in all, in the same way that the all in all chose a specific human being to come into as a, a complete being, a complete matter of intelligence to relate to I and I, he's worthy of praise. Just like the spirit in him, he's worthy to be worshipped. And if you can pray, hear me, if you can call to some invisible being that you don't know where it is, and you have the intelligence and the understanding that this invisible being came in a flesh, you can call upon the flesh too. That is how I look at it. So yes, Haile Selassie the first is worthy to be worshipped. Selassie, ja, Rastafari. And I will say, you know, if a person is not a Rastafari, they may not be able to grasp this in this fashion because the argument is not going to be none of what I said. Eh? The argument is going to be, but oh, Selassie is not God, but, but Jesus Christ is. And oh, which part in the Bible say that? And oh, yes, yeah, yeah, so, so you're not really seeing the, the, to the totality of the reasoning I'm bringing. You know, I'm almost somewhat speaking to the choir, in a sense. Ones that respect and understand the divine within Haile Selassie the first, but maybe because of, of some level of teachings, we, we can't, you know, gravitate to the flesh anymore because somebody taught us that the flesh is the lower being and all of these different things, not knowing that the spirit inside of the flesh it was, is what brings it to the higher level. Remember, water represents the flesh and fire represents the spirit and, and fire takes water and rises it up, you know. You don't understand? The heat of the sun makes the water evaporate and the water goes up into heaven and become clouds. This is a deep thing. The water represents your flesh, the matter. It's a very, very deep thing, something we have covered before. Maybe it's something we need to cover again with good understanding. But hey, speaking about covering things, good conversation and deep reasoning like that, join us on the tiger's nest. If you join us on the tiger's nest tonight, you, you're definitely sure to get them levels of reasoning, talking about every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time. It was 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but Eastern Standard Time changed to 6 o'clock. So I guess in the next few months, it's, it'll catch back up with Eastern Caribbean time. But whatever the case is, for the moment, I think it's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but it's 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time, Radio Anu. And I know you know exactly how to get to Radio Anu. It, the link is in the description below this video. Just scroll down and you'll see Radio Anu. Press the button. And you don't have to wait until 7 p.m. tonight to come to Radio Anu. Come now. Have you ever visited Radio Anu? And you don't even know what's going on at Radio Anu. Come and visit it, man. You would even, you would stop all the scrolling and the looking and trying to find something to listen to if you just scroll down to Radio Anu. I'm telling you the truth. All right, family. I'm looking to see you this evening in the Tiger's Nest. Oh, let me just remind you. Remember, the time is now. We are right here. It's the spring equinox. The first hike is on Sunday, family. Hey, the first hike is on Sunday, remember, that is the afternoon, evening sunset hike. And then the second hike will be on Tuesday. That will be the sunrise hike. And that is the Green Castle Hill. And of course, you know, we will be among the megaliths. And those of you who will not be able to join us in Antigua, well, you know for sure, you can join us virtually. And right in between both hikes, we have the cannabis tour and the chalice talk definitely something you don't want to miss you want to be a part of the whole experience so all you got to do is contact us you see all the numbers even on the screen call and whatsapp get more information it is only 100 dollars not per tour you 
Somebody was asking me if it's 100 per day. Nah, man, what are you talking about? The three days is $100, just that's it. Sharp, 100 flat. And of course, you can sit at home. Even if you don't get it live, you know, you can come home and watch it again. It will be, you know, recorded there for you. You just get your link. The link, we'll send you the link and you just get your, your, your internet key and you go straight to the hike. But of course, you want to be there early and on and, 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 and time and live, live is what I meant to say. You'd want to be there live with us. And of course, you know, partake of it with us in, in real time. But if not, you can definitely see it after you come home from work or wherever you come home from. <laughs> All right, family, definitely give thanks. You don't know. You can make your payments just using the cash app. You can make your payments using the PayPal as well. And we have other different means and ways for you to make these payments. Of course, even the cash app and the PayPal link is in the description of the video below. And just to remind you once again, don't forget to contact us to get your free trial. Okay? Free trial of what? International homeschool and make the youth see it. Don't just take the trial and watch it yourself and say, oh, they ain't gonna like this here. Make them see it. Make them decide for themselves. Because you know it. When they watch it, they're gonna say, hey, hey, hey daddy, I want to see some more. <laughs> Come on, contact us, man. Strengthen up the youth, them family. Trust me, these programs are definitely well um um well uh recommended right around here about now ones that are taking part of these programs see the value and i mean i'm telling you in the near future uh, ones will definitely see that these will be stable within our black community as it has to do with uplifting the spirit and the energy and the whole vibes of the the youths amongst us family give thanks to the life giver and the keep of life give thanks to the love give thanks for the precious moment give thanks for the lengthened period going through cutting and clearing all honor and praises to the life giver and the keeper of life emperor highly Selassie the first you think we're top raising king cut and clear no man holy manuel i Selassie i ja rastafari blessed